Can I help you? Oh, hello. I've arranged to see my daughter. I'm Helen, Carmen's mum. Have a seat. Um, I'll just go get the boss. It's been a while. Maybe I should come back another day. I reckon Carmen'd rather you stay. You know, since you're already here. Let us know when it's sorted. Thanks. Bye. Hiya. Uh, Carmen's mum's here. Shall I let her in? What? She said she arranged it. That was Carmen's social worker saying that it hasn't been approved. Helen, you can't <laughs> be here. This is not a woman. Hello, sweetheart. No! Carmen! We've been here before, Helen. This is just an acknowledgement of your request. The visit has to be agreed by the social worker. I know. I'm sorry. I should have waited. Yes. You should. Mike, things are different now. I've got my priorities right, and I'm here to show Carmen I've changed. I mean it this time. I know I've been a terrible mum and I've made some mistakes, some horrible mistakes, but I'm past all that now and I want to try and make it right. She deserves it. Look, we'll go through the proper procedures and if social services say yes, then I'll talk to Carmen. It's up to her whether she wants to see you or not. Um, how long till you go back to Spain? As long as it takes for me to see my daughter. I'm sorry if I misled you. Would you give this to Carmen for me? Right. I'll show you out. Come on. I am so sorry. I should have read the letter that she had. When she said she was Carmen's mum, I just... I don't know, I just thought... You thought how great it would be if your mum had turned up like that. I'm sorry. I understand. Just let me sort the situation out, will you? She's gone. Don't know why she came. I don't want her here. I hate her. What? Doesn't matter. Tell me. Well, don't hate me. But your mum's still alive and you don't want to see her. When I'd give anything to see my mum. But she's, you, you know, your mum probably didn't lock you in the house on your own for a week and then go on holiday. Poor Carmen. Poor Carmen? Hasn't seen her mum in what? Well, not since we've been here. And then uh, screams her head off and runs away. How dumb is that? Now where her mum's going to come back now? Who cares? They're just parents. Uh, you don't know what's going on. She's probably got reasons why she don't want to see her mum. Sometimes if she's like your dad. He is not our dad. She's still your mum, though, isn't she? I don't see her fighting to get you back. Liam! You take that back. <laughs> Make me. Liam! <laughs> you get out here! Oh, I don't care! Come on, me and you! Get off! Get off! I told you! Liam! Come here. Right. Oh, yeah. Pity about you. I don't know what's got ah. into you two, eh? And you can both go up to your rooms and sit there and think about your ridiculous behaviour. I mean, really. And Ow. I'm docking both of you ten pounds from your allowance and giving it to charity. Uh, no, that's not fair, cos he started it. Oh, well, you know what? You should have thought of that before you started brawling. 
He were all right until she met Lee. Mum said she loved him and that I'd understand when I got older. What does he mean to you? He didn't like sharing Mum. So they started leaving me on my own when they went out. Said that it was best not to make a fuss. Hi. I told your mum I'd give you this. Do you want me to be in it instead? I'm really sorry about what happened. I thought she'd been given permission. And, well, I guess I thought you'd be happy to see her. She promised she'd come back. She never did. Till now. Sounds like my mum. She used to do the same. Dropping a bit. Can't believe you went for Liam like that. I just lost it when he started talking about Mum. He was kind of right. What are you moving out of the way for? You're kicking too hard. I'm not kicking hard. It's your turning goal. Get back in. No. What do you want me to do? Roll it at you? Stop showing. I'm sorry. I just get wound up. What are you going on? Johnny thinks parents are the answer to everybody's problems. So? You just still don't get it, do you? You've got a family. But one granddad. Yeah. One granddad more than me. I've been in care homes all my life. This is it for me. I just wish everybody had stopped talking about stupid families. I'm going. Anyone seen Carmen? Hmm? Thanks for your help. We're gonna have to do something for those kids. The atmosphere out there is terrible. Mm, cinema? Well, I reckon it's worse than that. All in, then. That's a good idea. Wait, what? How do you know what we're talking about? Kids only get taken bowling if you're trying to distract them from something. Trust me, it won't work that on to you. Tracy, we've been working here a while. I think we ought to know what we're doing by now. Can't argue with that. Uh, you don't mind if I stay here, do you? It's just I've got loads of laundry to do. It's fine. OK. Well, when the bowling doesn't work out, let me know, cos I've got a better plan. Um, could you gather everybody up? I need to find Carmen. Her mum's visit's been approved. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? Listen, you don't have to make a decision straight away. But the social worker said it's okay for your mum to visit. Only if you wanted to. No. Carmen, I know she let you down badly last time, but she seems to be making a genuine effort now. So, have a think. And whatever you decide, we'll back you 100%. Hmm? In the meantime, going bowling. That'll cheer you up, eh? Hey? Or you can stay with Tracy. Cheer up, you miserable Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Up you go. Come on. You will enjoy yourself. Go on. Yeah, that's uh, not going to work. Come on. Let's have fun. Mike says my mum's allowed to visit. If I say yes. I know, I heard. What should I say? Say no. Why? Because any mum who leaves their daughter in a house on their own for a week just to go on holiday doesn't deserve a second chance. Lily told me. It wasn't that bad. She'd have loads of food and DVDs. Still doesn't make it right. But what if she's changed? Maybe she's nicer now. What if I say no and she is different? Then I'll never find out. <sighs> You're right. Even when I knew my mum wouldn't show up, I still agreed to the visits. 
Why? Because that way I couldn't blame myself for not seeing her. If she showed up, great. If she didn't, that was her loss, wasn't it? Don't ever talk to me again. I like I was going to run away. Can you two stop arguing? Right, that's enough. Everybody upstairs to bed now. What did I do? Oh, come on. You do a drink at Toby when he didn't give you did a drink. Did I before? even ask you? Oh, yes. Yes. You shut up now! Oh. oh, well then. Mike? Yeah? I'm going to say yes to my mum's visit. Sure. I'm sure. Everyone's in a bad mood. Thank you, Gus. We know that. It's because of Carmen's mum, Liam and Johnny having two fights, Sapphire and Toby arguing. Yes, thank you very much, Gus. Great. Hey, hey, that was so much fun. Let's do it all again at lunchtime, shall we? Told you a treat wouldn't work. Uh, all right, Tracy. Tell us, what's your solution? Well, if you want to distract them, you don't need a treat, you need a disaster. Well, what kind of disaster? Ah, you leave that to me. Someone having a laugh. All right, calm down, everybody. We'll sort this out. Look, there's obviously been a power cut, so we need to go round the house and unplug everything and switch the lights off. Because if we have a power surge, we don't want anything to get broken. Hey, off you go then. Go on. Come on. Come on. Uh, and be careful as you're going off. Tracy, word. Just going to call the electricity people. It's only for a couple of hours. I don't know about this. What do you think? Well, when I was a kid, uh, I used to enjoy power cuts. You know, we had to light candles and, and, and tell stories. Right. Well, you can switch the power on whenever you like and say it got fixed. In the meantime, they're distracted. <laughs> Good. We'll turn it on later this afternoon. Uh, what's the time? Uh, 9.40. Helen's late. Uh. How are you doing? She's not coming. Oh, she's only a little bit late. Maybe she got held up, yeah? I knew this was a waste of time. How do I look? You look lovely, Carmen. I am so sorry. Road works everywhere and the taxi just... I thought I wasn't coming. Unless I came on. It's not. It's really not. But I am going to make it up to you. You'll see. Hi, Mike. Hi. Um, Tracy. Tracy. Well, sweetie, I have a taxi waiting for us outside to take us into town. Are you ready? I'll get my stuff. Don't forget your shopping list. Lily, glad to see you well prepared. I hope it's a long list. Right. Have fun. And you. <laughs> you switched everything off. Now there's nothing to do. What are you talking about? There's loads to do. But we have to empty the freezer. We have to prepare the garden. Come on. What for? For a barbecue. Yeah. Come on!
I know none of this can make up for what I've done. That's OK, Mum. It's not. I never, ever should have left you alone for a week. I can't believe the terrible way I treated you. I'm your mother. How could I do that to you? Because you were in love, remember? I'll never forgive myself. You should answer it. It might be someone important. Can't be important enough to interrupt my day with my daughter. It's Lee. Don't worry, darling. We broke up. Oh, sorry. Don't be. When you fall in love, you really fall. Isn't that stupid of me? Oh, I'm fine. It's just... I've been so lonely since he went. Don't worry. You'll find someone loads better. I hope you're right. Of course I am. You're so pretty, you're bound to find someone else. I wish I could stay with you. You can. Oh, I can't, sweetie. I have just had the best idea. Come with me to Spain. I mean, you know I would have taken you with me if I could, but Lee said it wouldn't work, and, well, he's gone now, so you can come. So, like, for a holiday? <laughs> no, silly. To live. Um, Helen, you really should discuss this with Mike first. But... Of course. You're right. What high school? Mm -hmm. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Wow. 20, Spain, that's amazing. Oh. Isn't it? I don't know. They were having a nice time till Helen mentioned Spain. Yeah, well, it's a good job you brought some back, didn't it? <sighs> I looked all around the house. This is what I found. Why do you need torches and candles? Uh, be because the uh, electricity company are not coming till tomorrow morning. Thank you. <clears throat> really? I thought they said they'd have men in the area later on this afternoon. No. No, t tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Good job, boys. Uh, why don't you go and check the shed? Mm -hmm. Go check the shed. Look, Gina, it's done its job. They're going to get suspicious. Well, why would they? I mean, just look how things have changed, yeah? Girls, can I have a word? Carmen? Your mum and I have talked with social services. Now, it'll take some time to set it up, but if it's what you want, then they can get things moving so you can spend a short trial period living with your mum in Spain. See how it goes. Now, I know this is a really big deal for you, so I'm going to give you some space to think about it. Okay? <laughs> I've had a really great day with you, sweetie. And I hope it's the first of many. But if you decide you want to stay here, then I'll support you. And I'll still be your mum, whatever happens. OK? Bye, Mum. Oh, bye, darling. Why take the risk? Could be something urgent. Are you sure they're all asleep? Promise you. Dead to the world. My God. <laughs> what are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. Thinking about Spain? I'm not good. How long? I'm happy here. I reckon you'd be pretty happy in Spain, too. It's a long way away. And what if I don't make friends there? What if I don't fit in at the school? What if I don't like the food? That's just because you're scared. Just don't think about that and think about what you want. Liam's right. Yeah, because this is about whether you want to live with your mum or not. 
Thanks, guys. Power must be back on. Mm. Don't look at my cards. I hope it was worth the risk. Yes. No urgent emails. Wait. I'll rest easy in my bed tonight. Mm -hmm. Boys, I think we've been at. You won't regret it, darling, I promise. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun together. I'm gonna miss you, Carmen. Oh, you don't have to miss her, Lily. You can come visit. Oh, she can come for Christmas. <gasps> Why not? Oh, you will love Christmas in Spain. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> Great Spain. <laughs> That's right. Elm Tree House. Very urgent. Yes. Oh, uh, you talking to us? The electricity man. I found this old film and it works. Gina Conway. She works here. He wants to talk to you. Hello? Uh, yes, well, we have had sort of a, a power cut. <clears throat> yes, I, I understand you don't expect to hear it from a child. <clears throat> no, no, no one has been messing around with the electricity. <clears throat> Investigation team? No. No, I, I, I don't think that uh, anyone should get fined. What? Yes, um, someone will be here when the team arrive. Oh. Why didn't you bring a touch, Mike? You know, it was broad daylight upstairs. I wasn't careful. Is, is the fuse box on this wall? Oh, which wall? I, I can't even see you. Oh. Is this what you're looking for? Cancel the investigation team. I think we found the problem. <laughs> I was acting. Right, busted. But hey, before you form a lynch mob, right? It wasn't our idea. It was. Uh... Tracy, I've really got to get going now, sweetie, or I'll miss my flight. Hey, cheer up. At least we've got all the paperwork done, and we'll be together again soon, for good this time. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right, easy, guys. I only suggested doing it for a few hours. It was these two that turned it into a 24-hour special. Uh -huh. Is that Lee again? Yes. And you know what? I'm going to tell him that you're moving in, and I don't ever want to see him again. Is there somewhere I can take this? Mm-hmm, just through there, yeah? All right, thanks. I thought you had to go. You don't need to answer it, just hang up. It'll only take a second, sweetie. He is gonna be so jealous when I tell him what we've done. Mum, please! Lee? Yes, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful news, darling. Lee and I are gonna give it another go. Oh, no, don't look like that. He's already agreed that you can come and live with us. Well, not straight away, of course. <laughs> I mean, the flat really isn't big enough for three, but um, we're going to find somewhere bigger, and when we're settled in, you can join us. So that's really good news, isn't it? <sighs> well, don't be sulky, sweetie. This time yesterday, you didn't even know you were coming. Helen, you need to leave now. I'm saying goodbye to my daughter. Go away! You heard him. I know how this must look. But I'm doing my best. You don't know how hard it's been for me. While well, you've been here, enjoying yourself. Helen, please. Right. Well, I can see she's in good hands. It's nice to meet you all.
You know what? She doesn't get off that lightly. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm not missing this. Stay. Have you got any idea what it feels like to be on the rotten end of your selfish little games? Selfish? Me? Your behaviour stinks. And so do you for putting Carmen through this. Have you ever given the slightest thought to anyone else but yourself? I've not been having an easy time of it lately. <gasps> you again? Listen to yourself. It's all about you. What about your daughter? You dumped her to live in Spain with your boyfriend. And then when it didn't work out, you wanted your daughter back again. Unbelievably, she gave you another chance. And then what did you do? You dumped her again. Well, I'm glad that you dumped her. Because let me tell you, Carmen deserves better. Way better. You're right, Tracy. You're so right. I and don't I'm hear it. And I bet Carmen doesn't either. So do us all a favour and shove off back to Spain. Adios! Oh, <laughs> <laughs>